So why do we need hydrogen? We already have sun and wind power and battery energy storage. Can't we make everything zero emissions with these technologies? Well, hydrogen has certain features that we need if we really want to decarbonize and depollute everything. Batteries are too heavy for large aircraft and any transportation mode that needs rapid fueling or travels a long distance or carries a lot of stuff like ships and trains and long haul trucks will need a lightweight fuel like hydrogen. Plus, many industry applications cannot be decarbonized without high temperatures or the chemical or reducing properties that hydrogen can deliver. Steel and cement, they require chemical reactions and even computer chip manufacturing uses the reducing gas properties of hydrogen. Fertilizer uses ammonia, which is made from nitrogen and hydrogen and other petrochemicals that we use in household products, for example, also require hydrogen. So, Hydrogen's unique features are needed to make everything decarbonized. And the good news is we can make that hydrogen from those same renewables that we started with, from sun and wind power and bioenergy. And once we produce hydrogen at scale, it can also lower the cost of decarbonizing other things, like a highly renewable electric grid. Massive and seasonal energy storage will be cheaper and more efficient with hydrogen. And the infrastructure needed to fuel a combination of hydrogen and battery electric vehicles will also be cheaper than that for charging only battery electric vehicles. So we need many, many batteries and we need more and more solar and wind power all around the world. But we also need hydrogen and its features to make everything zero emissions.